Alright there, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to see the finale of Sang Jiao's campaign. And today, we're going to end on the non monk campaign of all things. Uh, our long journey is finally over. No one will be able to disturb us here. Why will the Han not perish? How much longer must we endure this? How long? My lord, Mei Huo, king of Nanmon, and an army are approaching. What was that? Why, why does the Han have to plague us? When will we ever find peace? Um, he didn't say the Han, he said the Nanmon. I'm going to assume that he was uh, delirious from the heat. Who old Sang Jiao? And if he can't escape the Han, he now has to fight the Nanmon for his finale. A more vicious foe he could not have hoped to meet. After successfully breaking through Shu's blockade, Zhang Jiao marched south. Finally, having shaken off the pursuit of the anti-yellow turban forces, Zhang Jiao reached the Nanzong region, where he planned to build his new world. In the jungle, eh? But here again, another appears and stands against Zhang Jiao's idea. Meng Huo, the king of the Nanman tribe, suddenly launches an unprovoked attack on the yellow turban forces. Zhang Jiao desperately tries to negotiate, but it is of no use. Okay, I don't think unprovoked is the thing here. Considering this is the Nanmon territory, I think it's more like Zhang Jiao shows up and is, or wants to make it make it his own land. I think Meng Huo has some rights here to be a bit pissed off. A strange army, the likes of which the Yellow Turbans had never seen, was now bearing down on them. There was no place left to run. Knowing now that they must win this land for themselves, Zhang Jiao and his followers prepare for the final challenge. The final challenge of Elephants and Company. So, for the last time, for the Turbans, there's us in the main camp. Not exactly the best starting position, but do. With two sub officers. And there's Zhang Bao, Zhang Liang, Zhang Cheng, Yang Yang, and Xiong Yangzi. And once again, we have peasants. Most of them located in a good position, except for this one on the left. Hmm. We'll have to keep this area clear then. Could be a bit of an ask, considering how the Nanmon campaign goes in Dennis Warriors 3. And for the Nanmon, we have Meng Kuo, who this time is right at the back of the base. According to Harrison Smith, we don't have to defeat him seven times on this occasion. Just the once will do, hopefully. And there's his lovely wife, Zhu Rong. And Meng Ji, Wu Tugu, Daddy Dong Zhu, Tong Tune, and King Duazi. So let's check out the battle conditions. To win, all we have to do is make our way to the temple at the other side of the map and kick Meng Huo's butt. Defeat, we die, all the civilians are eliminated. Again. So we have to keep a good eye on our peasants once more. Thankfully, in our final hour, I finally got the Staff of Fire, the third tier weapon for Zheng Jiao with some Muzu Max and a Reach upgrade, which would be nice. That Reach will probably be useful. <coughs> and wise, we're going to stick to the exact same setup as the last couple of times, since I definitely think we're going to need speed this time around. Attack, Defense, Red Hair, Elixir, and HP. Bodyguard wise, I think I might change things up a bit this time. Uh, Mateo Udakovic has suggested that since we have more of an adequate defense at this point, it might be time to be a little more aggressive. So we're going to change the orders from being on shield. Ah. One snag, however. If we take them off shield, they lose nearly half of their defensive capability. Hmm. Sorry, Matteo, but I think we're going to have to keep him on defense after all. Let's see, custom balance life Muzu. Ah, you can adjust the life Muzu growth. Not that's what we're after, anyway. Yep, I think we're going to stick to defense after all on second thoughts, unfortunately. 
I didn't realize shield gave that much defense to them. So, looks like we're going to have to grow them on shield a little bit more yet. Especially since this is the last mission. But I'll definitely consider putting them on attack for next time. So, turbans versus non-man. Who will win? Let's find out. There's the temple we must reach. Eventually. My children, paradise must be your goal. Wow, we're ready for this. We got a lot more ground. Worry. I shall always be watching you. And fighting alongside you. Right, let me think. Who am I gonna go for first? We should head up to the other side, actually, because there's two officers over there that we should probably kill. So here's the Staff of Fire, a nice red-looking staff. And in a few moments, we'll be testing out its attack power. Yeah, definitely, uh, I think this is kind of a similar start to the uh, Dynasty Warriors 3 campaign, actually. We sort of had the same territory, but... Hmm. Only this time, Menkuo's not right in front of us, trying to be a pain in the arse. So here we go then. Let's see what his fifth combo is. If we can get a chance anyway. Wow, getting hit already. This is not good. So let's see what his fifth combo... Man, I'm not getting a chance to use this, am I? Burn, you silly jungle people. Alright, he seems to shoot out multiple fireballs. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Ooh, nice. That's not bad, but kind of single target esque, really. Uh oh. Do we know what's happening here? What? What are these monsters? Elephants! Run away, turbans! It's enormous. In a very familiar. <laughs> it's enormous! <laughs> Yeah, you jump on it and ride it. There you go. Oh god, we've got archers everywhere. So they join. I don't have any bow defense, I just realized. Not that that's been a problem so far, but I'm sure these guys have a fair few archers up their sleeves. We mustn't be Fight harder. So his fifth attack is okay, I guess, but not really that impressive, to be honest. Doesn't really give him any sort of extra utility. Uh oh, is this kind of an elephant? He certainly is. Can we knock him off? Nope. Look where we, he missed. Oh man, that should have hit him. And that did hit him. Good. Arrows are always a good way to deal with people on elephants. Hey, come back here, Dong Tune. I'm not finished with you yet. Should have run away from me. I wonder if I could pull off a... Hmm, got an idea for a combo now, if I can get it off. Oh yes, you can catch him in mid-air. Not too shabby, but man, still not very suited for uh, comboing, really. Hmm, I was expecting a bit more from his fifth attack, but then again, he's a... F <laughs> and this is but, ah well, what can you do? Hmm, I think that was a red item, I think. I'll have to check that back on the footage afterwards, but I think that might have been a red item for some reason. I only caught it very briefly. Anyway, that takes care of two officers already. Not bad. Uh, uh, what? Zuge Leong! I knew we should have killed you last time. Oh boy. Zuge Leong has shown up. Why do you hate us so much? Ah, come on. I need to get back there. Sod all these archers. Go. Oh, crap. I knew we should have killed this guy last time. And now what he's done is trying to ambush all my civilians. God damn it. Oh, man. How many friends does Zuge Leong bring? He brought Masu and Lie Hua. Oh, good. Just one. I think we better kill him quickly. Carefully. I'm on half health. Damn it, Zuge Leong. Leave us alone. 
We are innocent. We only want a jungle one. Where Peace needs a new mantra, I think, badly. So this is the last remnants of the Han forces. I guess Zuge Leon or whatever. Not bad damage, I've got to say. Oh man, they've got archers too. Ugh. Can't catch a break from archers, can I? Where the bloody hell are they? Ah, here they are. I don't think I can afford getting pelted by archers too much. Get out of here. Ah, take this. I'm not going to let you live this time. This time I'm going to beat you up properly. Whether you like it or not. Taste my fiery wrath. Let's see what the full six hit combo is like. Uh, not too bad, I guess. Get out of here, Zuge Leong. Plus eight defense. To win without fighting is the ultimate plan. We win him with again. Jesus, kill him already! You might come back again and bring more pesky shoe soldiers. Oh man, I wish we managed to pull him back for now. Why do I have a feeling that I'm going to regret not killing him again? He's probably going to show up like again and again. If Meng Hyo isn't going to show up seven times, Zuge Leong will. Still, at least we've protected the civilians, so we should be okay now. Hopefully. Hopefully there's some health in these pots as well. Uh, I'll do, I suppose. Oh, there's some more health there. Excellent. Ooh, a valuable item has been found. Near the bridge. I must not forget that. I might go get it now so I don't forget it on purpose. <clears throat> I've been told about this item also by Harrison Smith. He's even told me what the item was, but I won't say it for now, just to keep it in suspense for a little bit, I guess. But thanks for that hint, Harrison Smith. I mean, I probably would have killed Zuge Leong anyway and found it, but I appreciate the comment regardless. I'm going to go grab that variable item, because knowing me, I'll probably end up forgetting otherwise. On the way, we shall burn this captain to death. Oh man, he recovered so quickly. Not fair. Not fair, I say. Unlike with all these kind of attacks, you can stop spamming the fire whenever you want. So you can just do one if you wish. Wow, that was not quite high. <laughs> nice. Ooh, losing what plus 10. Awesome. Right, where's my horse? We need to get that valuable item quickly. We're able. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any resistance here for the moment. Just over the bridge, if I'm not mistaken. I hope this doesn't trigger any events. I don't want to push too quickly. I just want to grab the item and get back to picking things off. Yes. Oh, damn it. Looks like I may have to deal with a bunch of pesky soldiers before I go anywhere. Oh, we're fighting the uh, female soldiers. The only time that female soldiers are used in this game, aside from the bodyguards. Zhu Ryong's personal female bodyguards. Feminists be proud. I guess. Not really surprising, considering that Zhu Rong is herself an Amazoness of sorts. Well, I'm sure that as foreign as the elephants and stuff is to the yellow turbans, I'm pretty sure that the, um... Nanman aren't used to seeing a guy who can conjure fire out of his staff. So we... Oh man, don't... Please don't beat up my bodyguards. They need to live. I'm not the only one around here with female officers. Uh, soldiers, sorry. Same the Elterans don't have any female equivalents, I guess. Maybe if they'd prospered, they might have had a female on their team. Who knows? Oh man, 
Wow, they can hit hard. And all I'm trying to do is which we just get to one item, so I don't forget it. Extra reach is proving somewhat useful here. Get out of here, guard captains. Go on with you. Wow, that, feel, that gave me a lot of muzu there. Oh man, how many more of these guys am I going to fight? I just want to get to this frigging... I'm actually clearing out the area it's taking so long. Man. I might just... I can't even just get out of here because this AI is going to be so aggressive. It's going to knock me off my horse as soon as I can get out. I might be stuck here a while, I think. I think, anyway. Man. Can I get out of here, please? Please stop attacking me. Leave me alone. I just want to find your item. You guys are going to die later anyway. God. Might, might start using my uh, free hit combo here. Just a bit. So now he managed to get burned even though he was standing behind me. Go figure. I'm sorry, this, is a, this sometimes happens in Dynasty Warriors games. It gets a little grindy. The pace gets set off a bit. I won't, be able, I won't actually probably do in this if I could rely on my own memory. I want to check the history. Let's see if that'll help at all. Ah. Right, it's right next to the bridge, apparently. Ah, it's going to be up there, isn't it? Alright, let's quickly go and get it then. There it is. Got it. Right. Now we can get out of here. Now let's see. I should probably go and help out on the left hand side, but I could also go around the right. And do some nice flanking. Yeah, I think I will do that. So I'm going to go around the right. Knowing you guys for now. I'm going to clear out the back. Hmm. Deal with you in a minute. <coughs> As always, dealing with the gate captains, a smart strategium in Dynasty Warriors games. Perhaps not so much in way to installments, but definitely in the early ones to prevent... Well, I'm sure this sounds a bit boringly familiar now, so I apologize, but... Kill gate captains. If you ever get into the Dynasty Warriors games, always be remember that gate captains are a very good target. If the enemy can't respawn any more people, the AI will clear and slog ahead, making it much easier for your troops to do damage. Like you said, morale is kind of half and half right now, so... Hmm. Oh, good. And he gets to recover all his health in five seconds. I love that. They seem to have made that even faster in this game. God, I'm not doing this with my second tier weapon, otherwise this really would be a slog. Come on, finish him off. I'm not even bothered if I get the com... Well, I've never been able to get the push two of this guy. He's useless. Taste fire, non-man. Taste fire. We will burn you all. Engine I want there. I'm gonna have a high KO count by the end of this, probably. What the sounds these guys make when they die? Yeah! And all that. All right. That's that gate captain out of the way. Let's see if we can't quickly deal with. Is he actually a? He's a sub officer. Hmm. I'll kill him anyway. What the heck? Probably a sub officer. I think he might. Oh no! They're making progress on that side. That's bad. That's not good. We've lost an officer. There, I got him. Oh no! Zhang Biao's force is in trouble. Oh come on! No! Everyone's starting to die. I'm taking too long. Everyone's starting to lose. Need to hurry this up and get some morale back. Don't want those guys killing my peasants. 
He's doing it. King Doisy guy. That'll help. Wow, I had the timing there just to get past him. Oh, come on, stop blocking. Thank you. Get out of the way. Right. Yeah, start fighting harder, guys. Come on. Don't want your way to do all the work. Well, I'm going to have to. So through this foggy area we go. I don't think this area was covered last time in the Nonmon campaign, but there's actually some trickery that the Nonmon employ around this area, but not necessarily around this pool. Maybe you'll get a chance to see it in a minute. I don't want to not kill King Dwight. He's on a bloody elephant. And I can't reach the elephant. Great. Oof. I don't think that using that attack then was a good idea. But I got lucky and was able to capitalize. Can I get Ooh. You can sort of combo him if you catch him in the right place in the fire. It seems that if he goes into the um sort of burning in pain animation, you can actually catch him quite nicely. But only if that happens. And even that not for very long. There we go. Now, I, st I would love to use an elephant with Zhang Jiao, but... We must be triumphant. Ow. I wonder if it will show it now. You probably just caught a glimpse of me taking a bit of damage there from that pool. I'm saying to see there's a cutscene that will accompany it or something. Yes. Going to the northeast has begun to move. Please don't go aggressive on me. Hmm. Might just quickly deal with this gate cat then. Knowing how slow this ticker is, the cutscene might appear in like two seconds later. Another. Okay. I guess since it's not going to explain it. Basically, these pools, they're poison pools. You can see it sort of affecting the enemy, but I think they're immune, I think. These are basically poison pools. Which is something that wasn't covered last time, because I went nowhere near them when I played as, um... Xiaoyun. And, for that matter, the... Hongai... Uh, was it Hongai? No, um... Sun Shang Jiang, either. But basically, these are poison pools. Will you get the fuck off me? Thanks. So if you go anywhere near them... Really? Piss off! Bang! Oh, we are affected by them. Okay, so they're not immune to their own poison pools. If you want to die today, well, see ya! God, he's telling too many of my people. He must die. I must run over to him. So basically, those poison pools are, um... They poison you over time. And if you do it in the original game, they sort of mention it and go like... There are some queer pools ahead, and avoid the poison shits. Is anyone attacking in the middle? I assume there's a lot of... that. Hmm. Got a small but very quick trek over to the other side. I guess Shani Malek knew that Zuge Leong would come back. I was a bit suspicious that Zuge Leong would return in this battle for some reason. And it turns out Shani Melik was correct. Zuge Leung did indeed show up. Oh no, don't die, please. Alright, I'll take care of... You're on full health, you'll be fine. Stop complaining, there's people out there in much worse situations than this. It's just a sub-officer. You can deal with one guy with a spear? Or a sword even? Surely. Come on, finish him off. Yes or not? Come on. Where's an archer when you need it? I got a weapon there. Alright. No, we must not lose to them, you're right. Hopefully that will push you guys forward a bit. We're sort of doing a little bit of help. I see some low HP uh, non man, but they're not pushing through as much as I'd like. Just to confirm there's no one over here. Well, 
still on about half, so I need to get these two kills and perhaps get the main majority of my forces going through. Also, I'm kind of sorry that this took a while to upload. Um, Shani Merrick also mentioned that this uh, took forever to upload. I mean, if there's one thing that you're probably going to have to get used to on my channel, it's min regular upload time. But I'm gonna... oh. Yes, gone in with the second one. Flaming Curve, they got stunned. Got a nice little marsh area here. The one thing you have to get used to on my channel at times is in regular uploading of parts. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee that I'm going to upload, like, a part every day or something, or very quickly. And part of that is sometimes I like to give people a chance to view the video. I mean, obviously, a lot of you will have many subscriptions and will be, will be watching content from a lot of people and stuff. So, you know, sometimes I like to give people a chance to, like, actually watch my video and see it in the subscription list because I know I have that problem myself with having so many subscriptions and so forth. Hmm. Still tending to put Zhang Jia on an elephant at some point. Hold off for now. I mean, I know I was watching um, a playthrough of Samurai Warriors 3 by... Hopefully, stay... Don't move. Stay where you are, please. I know I was watching a playthrough by XX Devoted Gaming XX of uh, Samurai Warriors uh, 3, which I think is mostly finished by now. And I know that I w I've sort of fallen out with keeping up with that because of so many other things I could be watching instead. So I understand that people, you know, sometimes get like, you be subscribed to a lot of people and there's multiple content things being uploaded, you know, it's kind of hard to keep track of all of them at once, you know. I love that myself, you know, there's things I'm supposed to have watched. I mean, it's a good thing YouTube have this, has this watch later feature and stuff. The old twins have escaped. What? Are you kidding me? You are joking me, right? Oh my god, what in the fuck are they doing? They're escaping to the bloody south? Why? That's idiotic. I guess it makes sense in terms of... Our arrows have no effect. What are they? What? Oh. What? Holy shit! We just killed someone off in a cutscene. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that, I have to be honest. <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. We just burned someone to death in a cutscene, no less. Ah, I did not expect that. I thought the game had glitched out or something, showing the same cutscene twice. That is pretty sweet. So Zhang Jiao does have the power to con... Well, use the staff, obviously, but... Why can't you use his power before, Zhang Jiao? To burn someone alive, huh? That would have been really useful, you know? We could have used that off that cutscene fire-killing ability in previous episodes, man. I mean, Wu Bu doesn't have that. Never saw Wu Bu kill anyone in a cutscene. But Zhang Jiao, no problem. Now, again, I'm going to use the elephant, but I need to gash over it now because the peasants, the idiots, have decided to escape in the worst possible location, right in the middle of a battlefield. And all of them are doing it now. Ah. I cannot wait to be doing the next character and not having to deal with this problem. I even get it. I think I can get over there without needing an elephant. I certainly hope I can, otherwise. Uh, really long backtrack coming up. We have to arc around. 
I'll just have a quick little peek. But yeah, I understand that people sort of get, um, sort of sus... Oh, God, I have to get an elephant. Fuck. I should take two off, I guess. Despite what the map... Oh, God, I can't even go around this way. Oh. Time for some editing, I think. Alright, and we finally caught up with the battle again. Man, two videos in a row where I've had to actually use that. Where I've had to actually do some editing like that. Something I may have to get used to, I think. Oh, thank you. Christ, another character does not have a good elephant knocking off attack technique. Joy. Now let's deal with Meng G and push on forward. So again, I have a lot of sympathy for people who have to watch multiple content uploaders, you know, especially if it's like a super popular uploader. You know, people who upload like maybe several videos a day, regularly. It must, must be really difficult keeping up with their stuff on a regular basis, huh? Makes you wonder why the likes of like, um... Ooh, Muzu by uh, one of my own. Nice. Alright, since we're close to end game, I think it's time for Zhang Jiao Elephant Master! Since we don't really need speed for the rest of this. And we have enough morale. Oh god, Pen One Shao is a bit low on the old health there. Not exactly the most promising thing in the world. Oh good, the Yabi army is mobilizing. The gate captain. Oh, someone took care of the gate captain. Yeah, nice. Right, we need to very quickly eliminate Zhu Rong then. The lovely Amazon lady. We will be playing at some point, if you remember. One of the seven characters we can play as. Some moves you got there. I could say the same of yourself with that elephant trick. Alright. Elephant versus elephant fights. Good thing elephants have an excellent knockdown attack. Let's see if we can kill with just the elephant, shall we? This will be fun. Elephants, as you know, have three different attacks. They have this AoE stomp attack, which is very effective. They have a square charge, and if you use circle, they sort of go on a rampage. And then they stomp. Best trick with elephants, though, just spam triangle a lot. It's their best attack, really. It actually does a nice amount of damage. Very similar to Wu Boo's um, triangle attack and what it is. As you can see, it's absolutely destroying Zhu Rong. She ain't no elephant master. It also stuns enemies the first time, I think. Yeah, stuns on the first one and knocks them over on the second. She's almost dead. Are we going to kill her by elephants? Oh, not quite. Yes! The theater entirely by elephants. Awesome. You're pretty tough. Huh. She says that in sort of you're pretty tough. Oh, we're uh, with two. Nice. I guess perhaps he wants to make her his Zhang Jiao wants to make her his queen or something. Something like that. Maybe. So elephants are really awesome. They only have two weaknesses. Archers and anyone who can jump high enough to hit you off the elephants. They're a really useful unit, but it's just a shame you can't ride one by default. At least, not in... Actually, I'm going to come off the elephant now. I've defeated Zhu Rong by the elephant. I don't need to defeat anyone else, really. I'll settle for on foot a little bit, methinks. It's a bit quicker anyway. I don't recall if there was an elephant harness in Extreme Legends. I know this was discussed in a previous part, but I need to actually go back and check my comments, I think. So I don't remember if anyone said there was an elephant harness in Dynasty Warriors Extreme Legends or not. There might well be, to be honest. Considering the amount of items and surplus, I'm only surprised if there was an elephant harness. 
<laughs> Feel free to jog my memory in the comments if there is anything like that I've just missed. And I've completely changed my mind. Yes, I'm going to stick with the elephant. Sod it. I'll probably have to abandon it in a little bit, though, because it's what? Because unfortunately, we're going to be facing a few archers now. Unfortunately, when you, as soon as you go on the elephant, every single person tries to jump up at you. Could use it right now, though, to knock off this guy. Damn. Now, if we stay still, maybe I can get lucky. Oh, I actually got him. Nice. Long range attack. Brilliant. We ran straight into that. Beautiful. Hope that the extra defense will help. So we're almost there now, but we do need to be careful in the last zone. It has a lot of archers protecting it, so we can't be too reckless. Oh, I should have blocked that, but I kind of thought I'd get my licks in before he finished. Not to be. On. Nice. Oh, he's doing his air attack, and it didn't help him at all. Get out of here. I hear that clicking sound that can player makes. It sort of refreshes some advertisement on the side, which I've minimized, but seemingly not eliminated. Ah, oh, I'm trying to get the timing down there. Oh, don't you dare recover health. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> I think he moozooed and I hit him in the middle of it. I think that's what happened anyway. Alright, so Mengyo's troop down. Now we shall charge into the base and try our best to eliminate the gate captain. Maybe with the help of some of our allies. Hmm. We may just go suicidal and just attempt to eliminate the gate captain quickly. I don't think we're going to quite eliminate Mengyo as fast as we did with the other two characters. But you never know, we might get really lucky or something. I'm going to try and quickly charge in. And then that way our AI can sort of take care of the rest of the goons. Ow. Luckily, as I said, there's plenty of archers around. Oh well, we knocked Mengu off his course. Yep, elephant. Cleave through my soul. You sound a lot like Cow Cow when you say that, you know. Alright, this is where it gets risky, folks. Mengo is quite good at juggling and damage dealing. So we're going to have to be real careful here. Real as careful as we can, anyway. Don't want to get comboed now. Some of my bodyguards are providing an apt distraction here. So good. Yes! Got him! No more reinforcements. Now if we can clear out everyone else here, we have half a chance. Wow, one of my bodyguards is nearly dead. Not good. Not good. Don't you dare juggle me. No, you do not. Damn your spearmen getting you. What that body slam? I can't wait to play as this guy. It'll be fun as all heck. I can't wait to play as Mengu. Oh, he's going to be awesome to play as. Just that body slam attack alone. He's going to have so many goofy attacks and things. Look at that. It's like a, it's like a, no, we're pretty much exactly where we need to be. I need to be ooh, ow, that damage, man. It'd be so nice if we could eliminate all these pesky bodyguard minions. We need to be careful here. Don't want to get hit by a combo now. Go get that life recovery. Nice. I think I'll be spamming a lot of the triangle attack just to clear out the Pest. Gauntlets versus staff. Who will prevail? No! What the fuck? Didn't I have a Muzu available for that? Oh. I guess losing a Deadwalk depletes your Muzu as well. I didn't know that. The more you know, I guess. Now we have a bit of a problem. Archers. They're not letting us quite finish him off. I don't want to die right at the end, particularly. Ugh. Bloody archers! Hate them. We're going to have to play this a little more tightly. Don't want to risk getting killed right at the death here. So 
We're going to have to do this very a bit more by the sort of numbers. Which means we're going to have to kill everyone and everything so that there's no archers left and then isolate Menguo by himself and finish him. Suits me. Perhaps people are getting tired of seeing me just run up to enemy officers and defeat them. You know, it's not exactly the easiest endeavor as you can see. And hopefully the AI will also take care of some archers off um, screen for me, which is what tends to happen with some of these arch packs. But most importantly, I'll probably get some health of one of these non monoliths That's precisely what I want. Or maybe not. I assume we need some help from somewhere around this camp. Ooh, do I ever. Yes, good. Take him out. Ugh. Very, very slowly. It seems. Ah, oh, well. It is the final mission. I think we'll excuse this being a bit slower than yours. Ah, oh, Muzu full for 10 seconds, and I have no targets. Or do I? Time for super fire spam. We're not the best person to have Muzu for 10 seconds with, admittingly. Ah, God, Captain, you will have some health. For sure. Ah, full recovery. Right. Let's go back in and have another wicked... Oh, he's back on his elephant again. You know what? You know what? I know what the real target is. You guys. You guys and your bloody bowmen. Do not you off your... Do you knock them out of the picture. We can probably deal with Menguo a bit more comfortably. Point blank almost. You guys are the real threat. Seriously? No way! Get... Off. I have to try and quickly turn around as best as I can here. Your your archer days are over. And that didn't drop any items. Scumbag. Ah, pay one show has decided to show up. Bit low on health, aren't we? Uh oh, Muzu! Ow, ow, ow. And of course he wiped the covers. Yeah, but now he has no archers left to annoy me. But damn it, pay one shell, you should put your horse in an awkward spot. Oh well. Taste my fire. Not very long, unfortunately. Hmm, doesn't quite have the ridiculous defense. Quite reasonable, in fact. But we'll have to be careful though, his one Muzu attack will be very devastating. Can't you bear just to make sure his guard doesn't interrupt my combo. Ah good, Bozang took care of that gate. Which was useless, but nevertheless at least it means they can all show up now. No god, this is what I feared, that. Aw, oh, come. Oh, that timing. It's true, Muzu Gage went up like crazy there. Two can play that game, buddy. And now time for true Muzu attack. Which is just more fire, really. I'd say he does it twice. If it's going to be true Muzu spam to the finish then, old buddy. Hope you like fire and what's of it. I kind of like how he can catch him very quickly in the air with that. Pretty awesome right there. Oh well, the good news is Menkuo has used up all his uh, health recovery. So the only thing he's got left now is um, attack and defense buffs if he should choose to use them. So I'll have to play this very carefully though. One combo and I will be dead. One bad Muzu timing. That was close. I should defeat him though as long as I play ultra defensively, I think. 
Maybe use my Muzu as a spur in case he pulls off an attack or something. Oh, now let's finish him off. Finish him, please. Walk into my fire. No. Good night. All we want is to live in peace. We did not come here to bring war to your land. Okay, okay. We'll stop fighting with you. Thank you for your understanding. Together we shall bring prosperity to the land. And that's how it all ends. After all that fighting, 30 seconds of discussion. Didn't he failed at negotiating with this guy earlier. And now he's like, yeah, we're all up for it. The goofiness that is Extreme Legends, everybody. The goofiness indeed. So we took care of Dong Tune, and Zuge Leong showed up. We didn't again kill, but he didn't really do any harm to us. Then we took for that special item, which we'll see in a minute. And after spending way too long fighting there, we finally secured it and took care of the gate captain. But unfortunately we'd spent a little bit too long over here. And although we did eliminate King Duoza, we lost a couple of sub-officers, but thankfully no main people. Then we eliminated that gate captain and ran all the way over to the west, where we took out the Dong Dongzu on camera and Wu Tugu off camera. While well, eliminating both the gate captains real quick. Then I had to do an awful bit of backtracking all the way around the long way since I had no elephant. Took out Meng Ji. Zhu Long fell to elephant power. And then we stormed the temple at last. We went up there. We took out the gate captain, but Meng Kuo and his archers pelted us back a bit. So we briefly retreated to get health and backup. Then we returned with life anew and attacked him once again, but he nearly bought us to death a second time. But this time we prevailed. And 37 and a half minutes later, victory for the yellow turbans at last. Wookie bow attack plus 23. Whoa, meat bone recovery, book and defense. I think I'll take that one. Definitely, yes. That's a very good item. Alright, and this is the item we got from killing Zuge Leong, the marching drum. It increases the rate at which your unit's morale increases. So basically, I would assume every time we kill an officer, the morale will double or something like that. Oh no, sorry, Harrison Smith says apparently the morale raises the morale based on the number of allies left. So the more allies we have alive, the higher the morale goes up. And that basically means that the AI will be better in combat. So it could be useful in certain situations, I suppose. Ooh. I think that's the third tier of weapon for the uh, bodyguards, that, if I'm not mistaken. So that's the Ooh, nice upgrade there as well for the bodyguards to boot. And the bodyguards did survive the battle. So excellent. They managed to survive. Good thing they're on shield, otherwise I think they would have died. So, we defeated 11 worthy opponents. Let's see if the bodyguards will finally become something more. Please, be something more. I really... We've become a second East General. Bodyguards... Ah! Nothing. Still nothing. It must be really close to the next rank of promotion, surely. I would hope. I will have to get them on the aggressive next time, I think. Alright then, so we got a good ranking score in total. Didn't even appear on the KO list despite my earlier thoughts. And we didn't even beat Menkuo on the timing, but that doesn't really matter at this point. So we're going to pop a save here and check out the Yellow Turban end credit sequence. Sang Jiao, the mystic. After training himself in the way of peace, he gained miraculous powers and took the title of Great Teacher. 
He then dedicated his life to creating a new world through the teachings of the Way of Peace. He defeated 142 in the Yellow Turban Rebellion, 138 in the Mountain Bandit Campaign, 406 of Wan Chao's forces at Shangban, 196 of Sun Jian's troops at the surprise attack on Liu Biao, 140 enemy soldiers at Qi Bi. 219 of Wu Bei's troops at Qi and uh, Yi Ning. And finally, 259 Nan Mon troops burned in flames. And thereby, we forced Meng Huo into a peaceful settlement. Great teacher Sang Jiao, huh? Oh, nice, it's slightly different ex text. The old Turbans gained entry into the promised land. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad considering, but it's weird how it shows up in the middle of the background like that. It's a weird transparency effect there. Ooh, elephants. Outdoor campfire. Different earlier. Nice. Hello, Zhao Kiao duplicates. I miss Zalkiao, actually, I think. And then look, we did keep Menkyo and Zhu on with us after all. Hey, wait a minute, we're, there's one Shao Dong Zhuo. What the heck? We didn't even see Dong Zhuo in this fight at any point. Oh, fire magic. Oh, shit, he's levitating. Damn. <laughs> Okay, weird dance there. So I guess in the end, Zhang Jiao really was the uh, and a bonfire begins. <laughs> I guess in the end, Zhang Jiao really did want to create peace. Hey, let's show you and see me ye. We didn't even see see me ye. He wasn't anywhere in our fights. This is a, such a strange ending. <laughs> I think I saw that ending once in the Spoonie experiments as well. I always wonder where that came from, and now I have an answer. So, that was Sang Jiao's ending of his campaign. Overall, I have to say that was actually a bit more interesting than Wu Bu's, to be honest. I mean, Wubu was pretty much a powerhouse, so it was pretty comfortable. This one, a bit more trickier, and I did like the idea of leading peasants in multiple battles. That theme kind of grew on me, as awkward as they acted in that last fight. I kind of like the idea of them traveling with you and having to protect them. It was an excellent idea, and kudos to Koei and Amiga Force for putting that in. There wasn't quite as much goofiness as that. There wasn't quite as much goofiness consistently as I'd expect for um, Zhang Jiao's campaign, but it was nevertheless goofy enough. As a character though, Zhang Jiao is painfully lacking. He's mainly good at just burning people, and that's about it. Otherwise, I'd say he's a very average slash weak character overall. Fun as a novelty, but not someone I'll be coming back to anytime soon. Either that, I'm just not very good at him. But you know, it's, it's nice to have different characters. Not everyone can be super powerful and super long reach and everything. He's a relatively unique character, Zhang Jiao. And the ending was pretty cool as well. And as always, produced by Omega Force. So, that's the second of seven down. I think we can just skip this. So, Sang Jiao's campaign, overall a fun experience. Definitely not what I was expecting at parts, but fun nevertheless. But what are your thoughts, my audience, on Zhang Jiao's campaign? Did you think it was good or bad? Better than Wubu's campaign or worse than Wubu's campaign? Let me know your thoughts. 
and I will catch you all next time for the third Extreme Legends campaign. Farewell, Dynasty Warriors fans, and always remember to follow the way of peace by burning everything and everyone that gets in your way. See you later, everybody.